Hello and welcome to part six of the series. Of course, if you feel like it, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot and it costs you nothing. Well, here we are with another episode. And in this episode, you may remember that in the last video, we uh, had a part missing from our fuel taps. And that part was the fuel filter for the reserve. And um, when I put the tank away in the last episode, I heard a rattling noise. So I decided to buy an endoscope and see what it is that is rattling inside the tank. And of course, to see if the tank is okay and rust free and everything. But still, now we are actually looking to find the missing filter. And I guarantee you, if you have the same problem as me, you will find that filter inside your tank. Because it, if you go and do with the bike, they jump out. So this endoscope camera with the filming option that you can save the films to your SD card in it cost me around 50 euros and it was the decision well cheap you know I do not have any other options so I bought the cheapest one I could find but maybe not the cheapest one but the one where I could well say to myself yeah I spent the money for it just to find that thing because you cannot buy them these filter thingies are unobtainable because they are sold with a new one and new ones are not available or heavily expensive so I thought to myself well I can look into the cylinder too with that and we will do that but for now we will find that missing filter cap the thing is the cable on this thing is so lightweight I mean it twists like it wants. You cannot control the cabling and I was so upset with that. You cannot imagine how frustrated it was to actually use that thing. I mean, it has a light on it so that you can shine um, with the tip of it, but you know, it's, it's wow. You got a display, you got SD card recording, you got everything, but not a simple way to control it. So I decided to just um, produce something myself to control that thing. It was just wow. So I came up with the idea to use some welding rod and some tape, just usual tape, and wrap around the, the welding rod with the tape to the camera so that I have a stable connection to the the wire where the camera is connected to because it's just oh, it's so awful to to work with that you cannot control it you cannot put it there where you want it and well that was quite crap but here you see me how you can easily do that such a rod costs you nothing well i don't know maybe a cent maybe 10 whatever i um actually bent the end of it for myself I thought for safety but after that that end that bended end got used in um, the whole scenario you know you can look everywhere and twist the end so that you are able to control the camera where it goes and that that rod was an aluminium rod to, for welding so you can actually bend the rod like you want it to be and go and that was pretty nice you see me here doing that so I started and looked inside the tank from the top to the bottom and vice versa and after I found the cheat <laughs> to have the the camera do what I want I looked in places and I found actually my missing filter and it was near the side where I point the camera now to. You see it's directly under the fuel tap but if you move the tank 
that thing gets moved around again. And wow, was that frustrating. But I thought, well, maybe I can produce something that will be able to pick it up and take it out with the use of the endoscope. I was struggling so much and I was so upset <laughs> with that thing. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But still, I managed to get around that and um, there was actually a nice stand with it so I could see something to get that part out of there. And you... <laughs> <laughs> I was so frustrated with that thing. <laughs> So if you like to see how frustrated I am to do that, well, you are welcome with me. I um, actually bent another welding rod and looked how I could see through that small opening there for the fuel filters where the tap goes in. You see the rod already hanging there. and. It was not that easy as I thought from the beginning to get that out because if you buy these oscilloscopes, you get a small hook with it, which you put in front of the camera. But what's the use for that if you can't control the camera? You know, it's, it's so ridiculous to have that going. So I decided to make another rod. And I found actually that filter in there with um, the camera pointed in an ugly direction so that I could have the other rod picking up the thing. Well, <laughs> what can I say? I feel like a doctor here. I have to move the camera so that I see that thing, the filter I mean, and then I have to move that rod in a place so that I may be able to pick it up and Oh, that was so complicated and frustrating. So I had this bent wire on the front, the, the rod, I, I bent it on the front. And well, I bent it in such a way that it couldn't pick up the thing. I can't show you in the camera because I forgot to record everything. And oh, that was such a mess. And yeah, that's why it took so long to produce this video just because it, it took me so long to get that thing out. But yeah, well, that's how it is. Here you see me bending it like I think it would work. So the hook on the front was just too much of an angle. So I looked at the camera where the thing is. And as a, again, I forgot to record the whole thing but I bought the endoscope specifically to record what I was doing and I, I didn't record it. Well, it's the heat of the moment. You just think that you need to get the thing out because I was so focused and frustrated, of course, to get it out. And I think I managed to get it somehow to connect to the rod and then you see already what happens. Yeah, here's the part where the baby is actually catched and you see me slowly turning and whatnot to get that thing out. It, I tell you, it wasn't easy, but it, it was a lot of fun. And <laughs> to remember that, I really had a laugh afterwards to do that. Actually, if you have kids, that's a nice toy for kids. They can expect everything. Uh, not expect, how is it called? Inspect everything. Just tell them to not shove it up some places where it's not welcome. You see me here like a doctor trying to get it out, turning, twisting slowly, really precise, you know, how that goes. And 
Oh, 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 I managed it. I managed it. Now get the camera out. Get the camera out first. Get the camera out first. Oh, that maybe. No, no, no. How do I get it out? Do I have it still on there? Is it still on there? Oh, I think we have a winner. I th Oh, there it is. There it is. Yay! Ah, there you have it. I found it and I'm very happy and glad that I have found it with that cheap equipment I had. Now, here's a tip for you. And if you have a bike like that and are missing these filters, search first in your fuel tank. For sure, they are there. And what other tip can I give you to spend 50 euros instead of 200 to get a new fuel tap? That makes no sense, especially if these things are in there. So with all of that, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you feel like liking this video and maybe subscribing to it. I wish you all the best. It's weekend. Have fun and see you in the next part. Bye-bye.